Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy and today I'll be showing you how to beat the easter egg in the Black Ops 3 custom zombies map, Rainy Death. I already made a video on how to do all the side easter eggs in this map, including how to get the Rat King weapon and the tractor cannon, so go check that out if you're interested. And now without further ado, let's get into it. First thing you'll want to do is turn on power. Power is found in the building across from Double Tap. Next you'll want to open up the sewers. Head to the water refinery and interact with the control panel to reroute the water flow. Then head to the twin bridges and pay 1500 points to drain the sewer. You will find pack punch at the end of the sewers along with this gray box. Pick it up. Head to the test environment and place it on the wall to the right of Speed Cola. Then interact with the terminals to the right of that to turn on the AI. The AI will ask you to activate all four terminals, and you can start by opening up the hatch on the ground. Pick up the object from inside. You will now need to activate all four terminals. For the blue terminal, interact with the glowing button, which is found by the large machine in the middle of the room of the test environment. This will spawn a blue orb. It will move around the map, and when it stops, you'll need to fill the orb with souls. It first stops right outside the test environment building, then heads to the water refinery, then to the police station on the second floor, and lastly the sewers. You will need to kill zombies inside the circle in order to collect souls. Once you've completed all four locations, return to the test environment and interact with the button on the large machine again to seal the energy. The blue terminal is now complete. For the yellow terminal, you will need to activate and defend three subsystems around the map. There is one in the water refinery, one is in the garage, and one is in the police station. Activating a subsystem will spawn in these special yellow suited zombies that will attack the machine. You can only defend one machine per round, and if you fail to defend a machine, you will have to wait until the next round to start over. Completing all three subsystems will turn on the yellow terminal. For the red terminal, you will need to find the three fuses and place them in the machine across from the power switch. One you can get from killing your first husk zombie. One is found in the sewers. Find the glowing red pod on the wall and shoot it with a pack punch gun. And one is on the first floor of the police station across from the subsystem machine. You will see this crate with a red glow on it. You will first need to obtain a shield, which you can get from the trader pod for 20 tokens. Use the shield and bash the box to break it. You'll now need the hydraulic tasers, which you can get from the trader pod for 50 tokens to power up the fuse. You can now pick it up. Keep in mind you can only hold one fuse at a time, so you will need to place a fuse into the machine before you're able to pick up another one. For the green terminal, you will need to find five green circles around the map and stand inside them. This will spawn five targets, one at a time. You will need to shoot all five targets while standing inside the circle. If you step outside of the circle, you will need to start over. The five targets randomly spawn each game, but the order will be the same in a given game. The green circle will first spawn at the twin bridges between the garage and the water refinery entrance. And the target will spawn in the hole near you that leads to the sewers, on the test environment building, on the garage to the right of the SOS sign, to the right of the entrance to the water refinery, and on the water tank to the left of the garage. The next location is in the water refinery, and the targets will spawn on the wall behind the mystery box, on the ceiling under the skylight, on the wall near the panel that opens the sewers, to the left of Mule Kick, and above the credits machine. The next target circle is located in the alleyway, outside of the target range and the targets spawn above the AC unit on the target range building, above the light on the building across from the target range, on the awning thing above the jug building, above the door to the travel agency, and on the wall above the supply shop. The target circle will then spawn in the police station near Flopper, and the target spawns for that are above Flopper, on the wall to the left of Flopper, inside the jail cell, on the wall across from Flopper, and under the stairs and one is in the yard at spawn, and its targets spawn on the building in the distance past the trader pod, on the building with the FAL wall by, on the telephone pole near the power building, on this building across the map, and on the test environment building. Keep in mind you can only do one green target circle per round, and they spawn in the order I just gave. Once you've done all five target circles, the green terminal will turn on. Once all terminals have been activated, head back to the test environment and interact with the terminals again to confirm all the objectives are done. The AI will ask you to take his memory chip and insert it into the server in the sewers. Pick up the memory chip by interacting with the terminals. Head to the sewers and insert the chip into the servers near Pack Punch. You will need to wait until the robot is done speaking. Then pick up the memory chip once again and bring it back to the terminals in the test environment. Once done, the AI will tell you to head to the extraction point, and your perk limit will now increase from 5 to unlimited. The last thing left to do is the boss fight. Whenever you're ready, head to the yard at spawn and hold interact on the flares. For this boss fight, there are three phases. 
For the first phase, he won't do too much other than shoot missiles at you and release these homing lasers and mines. Be aware that you won't be able to damage the boss until the ground becomes electrocuted. At this point, the boss will open up his head, revealing his insides. This is your chance to shoot him and get as much damage on him as you can. Once you damage him though about halfway, he divides the area into two zones. You can move between the two areas if you need by traveling underneath him. There will also be a nuke that he sends out where there will be a 30 second countdown and in the last 10 seconds a purple barrier will appear. You will need to run to the barrier to save yourself from the nuke. Once you've lowered his health all the way, he will regenerate for the final stage. For this stage, you'll be able to damage him without having to wait for him to open up his head. He will use every attack against you now, in quick succession. Keep shooting him to get his health down as fast as possible. Thankfully, there is a very handy feature in this map where if you die at any point in the boss fight, you can reset from the beginning of the fight, so you don't have to redo all the easter egg steps. Having the Rat King weapon did help quite a bit in this fight, so if you need help on how to obtain it, go check out my side easter egg video for it. I'll pin a link for that video in the comments down below. Defeating the boss, we'll play the end game cutscene. And that's it! I'll be doing more easter egg guides in the future, so subscribe if you're interested, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.